Well, hey babes, what is up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. First thrift trip of 2024, and you guys are in for such a treat today. You know that going to the thrift store can be so overwhelming, so something I personally love to do is always have kind of like a vibe or aesthetic in mind when I'm going thrifting. It makes the experience and the hunt so much more fun, and today we've got a perfect one. I took a look at my wardrobe recently and noticed that I just have a lot of very masculine pieces. I thrift a lot in the men's section, but I definitely have been really loving this more girly and flirty vibe lately. So for today's thrift trip, I'm pretty much gonna be getting in touch with my feminine side. Everything on my thrift list today is just giving off those like beautiful, romantic, feminine vibes. I'm talking soft, dainty fabrics like chenille and crochet, lace, fun girly touches and accessories like purses and little bows. A very neutral color palette, but I'm specifically going to be on the hunt for baby pinks and a lot of colorful pastels. Winter can be super dreary, so I really think that this aesthetic is going to perk us up. And I really think that it's going to be such a fun one. I also wanted to thank Shopify for sponsoring today's video. You guys know the iconic term, 30, flirty, and thriving. Well, I still have a couple years till I reach 30, but let's just call the segment girly, flirty, and thriving. Let's do it. Okay, guys, I was so excited to get started with this one because it's just so different than what I usually thrift for. Before I start all of my thrift trips, I go ahead and make an entire Pinterest board for the theme. This one is called Feminine Fit. And just taking a look at it, I see that there's a big emphasis on fabric. So a lot of crochet and a lot of lace. Little dainty patterns, like you know the flowers just like this. I find them so cute, but I want to see if there's a way that I can make it seem more mature. Rather than, you know, I'm a 12-year-old girl. And we are in the winter months, so knits and sweaters, cardigans, we're looking for those too. All right, I love building outfits based on the tops that I find. So I'm right here in the tanks and the tops. I'm gonna go ahead and look specifically in the neutrals first, then I'm gonna go into the pastels. By the way, just because we are doing feminine vibes, it doesn't mean that we can't thrift for black and dark colors too. Cause here's some examples of some outfits that still feel very feminine, but are still on the darker side of colors. I much prefer looking for lace that just looks more expensive. For $1.99, I found this beautiful little tank. It's a size small and I love that it has a square neckline. To wear on its own or even underneath something to have some of the lace peeking through, that could be beautiful. Okay, this right here, you guys. I think this is called eyelet lace if I'm not wrong, but this is such a beautiful vest The only thing is that it's an extra large So I feel like it may fit a little bit weird at the armpits, but it's just so beautiful and feminine I just want to see if maybe there's a way I could still make it work as much as we are thrifting for aesthetics I don't want to choose something that is very out of my comfort zone So I found this little turtleneck vest that I think is so cute I feel like if it was in a baby pink color like this I would have loved it so much more because I feel like I may have a hard time styling this color But I do want to try it on and see how it fits usually with a coquette vibes I do tend to stick to more neutrals, but if you are gonna be venturing into the colors, definitely check out the pinks because the light baby pinks work so well with this trend. And especially, <gasps> look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay, the buttons, the color. This color is so freaking precious. And the material is so like light and wispy too. I love this. I'm telling you, the theme is popping today. You guys remember how I said bows are a huge aspect of this trend? And I actually do see me wearing this top, even with something layered underneath. I love that bow collar. Hold the phone. I am not even joking, you guys. I literally had something just like this pinned on my Pinterest. <gasps> a ribbed shirt with these sleeves and a tie up front. This is nuts for $2.99 too. This is so feminine and girly. Okay, if this wasn't a large size, I would have definitely picked it up because it feels so ballet core to me and it's literally the perfect shade of pink that I love. Look at the cinching in the front. Definitely for like a Pilates class, that would have been so cute. Okay, another huge thing that has been on my list has been cardigans. I love them so much, but I have a ton already in neutral colors and I really want some in some pretty pastel ones. I don't know what it is about cardigans that just feel so feminine, but it's like you could button them up, you could leave them open. Let's see if we could score some good ones. Remember how I told you guys the little fabric details? You see this pattern over here? I absolutely love those on cardigans. This one is a size large, so it may be too big, but might as well try. Okay, finally found the little pink cardigan section and I have a good feeling about here. Okay, here are a couple of my finds. I found this top that was like a pink crochet and I kind of love the detailing. So curious how that would look like with a pair of jeans. This beautiful little pink cardigan. It's got like the white edge and the white buttons. And then this one I found so cool. It's got this like scallop edge. I thought that might be a fun one too. 
All right guys, sweaters and knits. I have to admit, I've been going a little ham on getting these lately, even though here in Florida, we only have such a short period of time that it's winter. So I just decided I'm gonna show you guys some inspo on things if you wanna thrift it in this aesthetic. These are the kind of knits you wanna be looking for. Cable knits, little fine knits, cashmere for sure. Cause I don't really know if I'm gonna get myself anymore unless it's just like a really cool find. This beautiful little lilac sweater is so adorable. And it's got a bow detail here on the back that you can tie up. I really love this color. And you know what? It is a pretty thin knit, so I'll throw it in the cart. Zip ups are another huge thing that I'm loving right now. I'm pinning so many, plus as a mom, it's just so convenient to have a little zip up jacket. This one right here is the Ralph Lauren one. It's got the little gold logo right over here. It's a cable knit, it's pink. You guys, this is such a good trip so far. And oh, but of course, we wouldn't complete this entire aesthetic without thrifting a baby pink sweater. And this one I found, I think is perfect. The chenille fabric is super feminine too. Just long enough to go over my bum. And the most beautiful blush pink. Okay, hold the phone, you guys. This sweater is gorgeous. It's got this like little tulle ruffling on it and such a soft material too. Definitely feels very feminine with a little skirt for sure. Listen, a lot of these colors are super, super bold, but since we are still in the winter, I wanted to check out the white section and I found possibly the best skirt for this trend. It is 100% linen, which is definitely a fabric that we are loving. And like, look at this double pleating over here. It's got the tie in the front so I can resize it how I want. And the length looks like it'll be perfect too. Oh, how I love it when people put random stuff in random sections that I like. But this Abercrombie and Finch knit, you guys know how much I love the cable knit design. I just feel like it makes sweaters look so much more expensive. And this like with the three or four little Little buttons. I've been seeing a ton of shirts like this to give off that like also ballet feminine vibe. Okay, in my last thrifting video, do you guys remember this vest? I'm telling you, this was a perfect inspiration for something on my Pinterest board. And now I came to the vest section and I found another one. <gasps> it is a 2XL, but take a look at this gorgeous knitted vest with the pearl button details. This is so, so, so precious. Only $2.99 too. Even if this is too big, I feel like I could definitely like cinch in the sides, but I love it so much. Gorgeous. I mean, you guys can clearly see that we got a little color scheme going on. We've officially made it over to the dresses. And over here, I mean, it could be really hit or miss. There's a couple dresses on my Pinterest board that I would love. Specifically, I'm looking at like fabrics and textures, cool trims, possibly lace too. It's like a fine line between pretty lace and ugly lace, but let's see. This is one of the most beautiful dresses I've ever seen. Look at these buttons over here and this beautiful trim and then a longer hemline also. Guys, this is gorgeous. I have to try it. Oh, this one I would have loved so much too if it wasn't so mini linen dress I find so gorgeous. Such a beautiful feminine little dress. I love the detailing on the sleeves and the eyelet kind of continues all the way to the bottom. I have to try this one on, but if it fits right, it could be perfect. All right, and this is super random, but you guys, I saw these red leather boots right up there and I'm like, might as well try them. They're only $4. I've had these on my Pinterest board for a really long time. Here are some outfit inspos. I have no idea if I can pull it off, but might as well try it. Okay, three specific shoes on more the casual end of this entire aesthetic, I would say are Uggs, loafers, and flats. If you're looking for Uggs and you wanna add a girly touch, doing this, like adding bows to them, I actually find it's been really cute but it is borderline childlike, so I gotta think about it. It's still on the hunt for a perfect pair of loafers. These ones right here look beautiful. I like that they have a bit of the detail, but I like that it's black rather than gold. I've gotta try these on. Hold the phone, you guys. These loafers are perfect. They fit me so well, they're so comfortable too. Like see, a lot of the ones I've been finding have like a really thick chunky sole like this. All right, here's your ultimate comparison between a loafer that's very trendy and I would say cheap looking versus this one, a lot more toned down, a lot classier and makes my foot look a normal size rather than a huge foot of like Hulk or something. All right, my lovelies, we are parked in our usual spot and I think it's time for me to try a couple of these on and please, please, please stay tuned for me when I get home so I can actually show you how I wear these in outfits because sometimes a piece may not look so great until you pair it with the right outfit. The good thing is I'm also wearing a onesie underneath. Guys, I am so bummed about this dress because it's big on me, but it is so beautiful. Because the back, I don't know if it's like meant to be open or maybe a ripped or something, but if I got it tightened, so pretty. 
It literally, I don't know, it feels like a Rapunzel dress to me or something. I'm debating if I should maybe get it and get it tailored, but what do you guys think? It costs $7.99. Do you guys think it'll be worth it to get and just tailor? Comment down below what you think I should do, and let's see if you're right. Okay, and then this zip up. Honestly, you guys, it's like a bigger size, and I really wish that it was more tight fitting. It doesn't really do much for me. It could have been really cute if it was tight, because, I mean, this is a cool find. Why is everything so big on me today? I mean, this vest is so gorgeous. The buttons are literally perfect. There's a part of me that's like, I could still get it and kind of wear it like a more oversized vest. So cute. Listen, as much as trying new aesthetics can be super fun, you gotta be true to yourself. I told you I didn't know if this would be in my comfort zone or not. I don't think it is. It's a really cool piece, but not necessarily for me. Like, same with this. It's cool, but not so me. I noticed that I'm like very, very specific with how feminine I want my clothes to be. Anybody else like this? That's the fun part about trying these aesthetics. You get out of your comfort zone, and sometimes you realize that something may really not be your style, and sometimes you may find something that you never would have tried, but now you absolutely love. This one is a bigger size, but I kind of like the way that it hangs off of me and the little details on the fabric are so dainty and feminine i love it this linen jacket is so cool i just like i said i would swap out the buttons i really like this all right hold the phone why am i actually like really obsessed with this this looks so cute sometimes the colors you think you wouldn't like you just try them on and then I feel like this high neck looks good, especially with the bangs. Am I right? And of course, I can't leave without trying these on. I, I just have to. Listen, you guys, I'll admit, they look so good, but it's just not me. I can try to be that Pinterest girly, but I ain't the one that wears the red cowboy boots. I'm gonna leave this for someone else to find. And let's just say, you guys, if you're looking to take this aesthetic even into your home, there there's so many like gorgeous little pieces here that just suit this vibe so well. Look at these little teacups that are tinted pink. They're so beautiful. These are such a beautiful set. Also, they just feel so retro. This little jewelry dish is so beautiful. I love the pastel blue. Even this one for like a catch-all dish for your jewelry. You guys, this is really like making me want to do another home thrift haul. Let me know if you guys really like the last one and if I should do one for my bedroom because I'm doing a bedroom makeover. That's the next vlog. And I'm actually thinking to thrift a lot of my decor and accessories for the room. So let me know what you think. And now I thought we might check out the accessories. I don't usually check out the hair accessories, but I thought that I must today because of course, hair bows, headbands, all that kind of stuff is so in line with this aesthetic. A lot of these come like in a really big pack. Let's see if I can find something girly. Oh my God, this looks like literally a bag full of bows and hair accessories. I see pink, I see a red rose. This is like a little goodie bag. I can't wait to open this up at home. Oh, that pearl headband is really cute, but I don't want the whole pack. I think yellow tags are like 75% off so it may be worth it to get all this just for that headband. All right someone tell me why I've been sleeping on the hair accessories section. Here's a whole bag of bows, royal blue, so many pretty colors for $2.99 for all of this. Okay, for real you guys, I cannot believe that we found this much amazing stuff for under 100 bucks at the thrift store. I am so excited to be adding so much of these girly feminine pieces into my wardrobe. So I'm gonna do my best to take all the items that we thrifted today and I'm gonna put it together into outfits. And I think what I'm gonna start with is digging into the little goodie bags of the accessories. Got each of these for $5.99 and $2.99. Ugh, so cute. If there's something that you're gonna be seeing a lot within this aesthetic, it's florals and bows and these ones are so beautiful. These are truly such a good way to just top off your looks. Ugh, this one looks so classy. And I'm gonna do my best to style these within these outfits. And of course, for jewelry, you want to keep it really simple for this aesthetic. I'm personally such a gold girl, so I have a couple of my gold rings. I'm wearing these dainty little piercings. And then my three necklaces that I get so many questions about, it's my everyday stack. It's these three little chains. Two of them are from Missouri. And then this one, my absolute favorite, I wear it every single day. It's a tiny little heart. It's bubbly, it's minimal, and it's perfect. And this dainty heart pendant is actually from our brand, Halo Collections. Erin and I started this brand last year. It's a bunch of dainty jewelry that you can wear to help you wear your story. There's the heart necklace like you saw and then we have the two kids pendants as well to represent my two daughters I love wearing the double girl charm and this is basically what our branding looks like you guys our brand is so stunning and we actually built this website along with our whole store in general on Shopify with the start of a new year I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking to open and start your own businesses and Shopify is an easy to use all-in-one platform for anybody even if you have zero knowledge of building websites starting a brand Shopify has all of the tools you need to start grow and manage your business from starting our website to actually going live being able to send out emails to making our first sale, even to the point of 
creating a shipping label. All of that is done on the Shopify commerce platform. It is the simplest platform to use, whether you're looking to sell online, sell in person, or even sell through social media. And I mean, it's what we've been doing with Halo Collections. I promote Halo through Instagram as well as my own social media platforms. All of those platforms connect to Shopify and allows that person to make the purchase that much easier. And my favorite thing about Shopify, it gives you all of the information that you want as a seller. What did they add to cart? Whether they hesitated to make a purchase? And through the ease of Shopify, we've been able to help our business grow and thrive. Starting a business can be scary, but Shopify helps you through every step of the process. So now that it's 2024, a lot of you guys may have a goal of starting something. And right now you can get a free trial by clicking the link down below or going to shopify.com slash Haley's Corner to get started on building or growing your business today. And with all that, I'm gonna make sure to leave Halo Collections linked down below as well so you guys can check out my business and shop these necklaces for yourself or for a loved one, even an expecting mom, the kids' charms are the best gift that you can give them. And you'll see how I style this little heart pendant with all of my outfits. Okay, well, to start this off, you guys, I decided to go with the outfit that is the most the aesthetic and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. This is such a cute way to wear something like this in the winter time. Oh, but I forgot to show you that there was actually one more bag of accessories and remember it had the pearl headband. I feel like it adds such a little feminine touch, especially with the bangs, it looks so good. I left all the tags on just so I could tell you guys what the prices are, but $4.99 for the sweater plus yellow was 50% off. For the skirt, it was $7.99. It's a full linen skirt, it fits so well. And I mean, this powder pink is so cute. I actually love the fact that the sweater fits a bit more oversized, but as you guys know, I don't love showing a lot of legs. So the way that I'm balancing it out is through adding leg warmers to my boots. And this is actually something that I've been seeing a lot on Pinterest. Sometimes I feel like it looks really tacky if it's like too matchy matchy, but because I'm wearing brown boots, it kind of like breaks it up. Cause I think the brown and the pink just looks so good together. So like I said, this is the one that is most fitting to the aesthetic that I had in mind. But as you guys know, we are molding the aesthetic to us. We're not molding ourselves to the aesthetic. As much as I like this one, I feel like the rest I'm gonna be styling with pieces that are a little bit more edgier and a bit more my style. But outfit number one, and what do you guys think? Okay, well, like I told you guys, I'm gonna be styling these pieces in a way that I would actually wear it. Because I'll be real, I don't know how much I am a girly girl, but I do wanna integrate more pink into my wardrobe. So you guys saw that I thrifted this pink vest for just $1.99. I'm obsessed with tops like this that go all the way to the top. I've been seeing a lot of these within this aesthetic too. And I just paired it with some light denim and the boots again, because I just feel like the boots make everything feel a little bit more appropriate for the season right now. This is why I love thrifting for different aesthetics because usually I don't have my eye out for anything pink like ever, but I'm so surprised at how much I love this top. Such a cute piece and I have other ideas on how I can wear it too. But for like an everyday casual cool mom kind of look, this is something I would go with. Okay, you guys, listen, these outfits are so much more on the feminine side than what I'm used to. And so far through outfits like this, I have made this discovery about myself. I personally really, really love feminine pieces and feminine fabrics. For example, the ruching, like the lace, like everything like that I love, but I personally like it in more neutral or darker colors. The star piece was this incredible top that I thrifted for just $2.99. I'm not joking, this exact piece has been on my Pinterest board forever. I just love it so much, but all the frills feel very feminine. So the way that I tone it down, make it more my style is that I actually wore with a black lace cami underneath, a plaid skirt that is a more darker brown, and then some black and knee high boots to edge it up a little bit. But of course, we still have the feminine touches, the bow here in the front, as well as the clip in my hair. I mean, really, this outfit just feels so girly and feminine, but still in a way that feels like Haley. Okay, and since I already had this outfit on, I thought I might as well try on this other cardigan that we got, because this one is a lot more casual. It is the knitted one that I got for just $4.99. This definitely tones down the outfit, and makes it look a little more wearable. Like, like, this is definitely something I would wear out on a date. And I just love the details of this cardigan so much. If anything, I wanna see if I can actually wear with a pair of jeans and make it even more casual. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you an outfit that is definitely the more realistic of the bunch that a mom would wear just like me. But we're still integrating this really feminine cardigan. The fact that it's got these tie up details, I love. And I'm sure you guys can see the little texture here. My Pinterest board was full of cardigans just like this. And I just wanna show you that you could definitely add that little feminine touch to any look, especially if it's literally a tank top and jeans. I mean, come on, cute aesthetic outfits, we're all about it. But when it comes down to it, I think my goal for future thrift trips will be to find items that I can wear more on a casual basis because the vibe that I had going in today, I was looking for a lot of pieces that I guess are a bit more fancy than something I'd wear on an everyday basis. And I guess it's just another discovery that I'm making about myself because truly that is the goal of thrifting. You wanna be able to pick up something that you can at least style five different ways. And this piece is just like that. All right, and this piece right here, honestly, you guys, I feel like it's too big and I really don't know if I can make it work, but I had to pick up this vest and I just thought this would be the perfect thing to give to one of you guys. I mean, look at this gorgeous piece with the pearl detailing. This is a size extra large. If any of you have sewing skills, you could for sure cinch it and make it a little bit shorter or obviously keep it as is, but I really do want one of
one of you guys to have this. So if you guys are interested in winning it, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. All you guys have to do is like this video, follow me on Instagram, which is Haley's Corner with two R's, and then just leave any comment below, making sure to leave your Instagram username so that I could randomly select a winner, slide into your DMs, and send this gift on your way. Because this is literally like the grandma chic knitted vest of my dreams, and I just really think that one of you guys would love it. Okay, we've got a couple other little pieces that I picked up for the girls that I wanted to show you. Cute little dress for Naomi. I found the perfect pants for Aaliyah and Naomi for this aesthetic too. Like these pink cable knit leggings for just $1. And then, oh my God, I wish that I found a pair of these for myself. But look at these little flare pants and they've got this little bow on it. I mean, how precious is that? And then finally, I can't believe that I found these for Aaliyah. She is gonna be so excited. But I found these hot pink Winnie the Pooh overalls for her. They were just $3.99 and they are so cool. So now not only can I have a cute, fun, pink girly wardrobe, but so can they. But okay, you guys, I need your feedback for this one. Comment down below which of these outfits was either your favorite or you think suited me the most because this video, this aesthetic was definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone, making me try things that I never thought I would like. So comment that down below. And if you guys are watching up to this point, you are the real MVPs. We love the ones who stick around all the way till the end. So if you're watching this right now, comment down below girly and flirty. That's how I know that you stuck around till the end and you are my favorite kind of person. If you guys want to shop the heart necklace for yourself or the kids pendants, I'm going to leave Halo Collection linked down below as well as the best platform that we use to build our business, which is Shopify. You guys can go to shopify.com slash Haley's Corner or click the link down below to get a free trial starting today. But with all that, thank you guys so much for watching while I discover what it is that Haley wants to wear in 2024. Love you all and can't wait to see you in my next one.